This is the part of GPS you see every day. This is the part you never see. This is the latest GPS satellite ready for launch, being built by Boeing right here in Southern California. We'll take you inside, coming up. The disturbing new trend in diapers. You probably didn't know this, but there is a brand new GPS system. These actual satellites being built right here in Southern California. Even if you don't have a nav unit in your car, you use GPS every single day. We have exclusive access. We will have a story for you. You won't want to miss coming up. The GPS you have in your car is about to get an upgrade, and you don't have to do a thing. The Air Force wing that runs the GPS program is launching new GPS satellites. KTLA's Dave Malkoff, the only reporter allowed inside the satellite factory right here in Southern California, joins us live with a look tonight. Dave. Mike, it was really neat to get in there and see how these GPS satellites are built and how they work. If you bought into a GPS unit maybe about 10 years ago, you remember some of these that didn't work so great. They didn't hook up to the satellites for a couple minutes after you turn them off. That is not true now. Not just because you have these new units that don't have a pop-out antenna. They hook up immediately. It's because they're making an upgrade 12,000 miles up in the sky and they're building right about here. The last time you landed at LAX, your pilot was using GPS. What you may have missed, what I would call a rather nondescript facility, is the factory you flew right over. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Three weeks ago tonight, the next generation of GPS satellites launched into orbit. So this is it. This is the new GPS satellite right here. That's right. This is GPS 2F. Built across the street from LAX. As a civilian, uh, it's, it's extremely rare to get this close to any military satellite. Okay, uh, Colonel Dave Madden. And Boeing VP Craig Cooning, Cooning designed this GPS satellite assembly line. It's one of 12 satellites that the Boeing Corporation is building for our partners in the United States Air Force. Let's say what? 12, 12 satellites. 12. The Air Force actually ordered a dozen. And how expensive is, it, is this again? Yeah, these satellites run about $121 million a piece. Each. Each. Yeah, yeah, nice. The nearly nice one and a half billion dollar investment isn't just for your car's nav system. Hey, Tango, We've got recovery. civil aviation. Banking transactions rely upon the timing. Uh, all the way to the scientific community who uses it to measure the tectonic plates movement. It really has become a world utility. Long before shooting them into space, Boeing shakes the mess out of these satellites. We're going to simulate the environment of space. It's not like uh, an airplane or an iPod or something that you can build, and if it doesn't work right, you just take it back and you fix it. Uh, we get a one-shot deal in space. Up there, one side of the satellite can roast at 400 degrees above zero, while directly on the other side, it's 400 below. Yet the sensitive electronics inside need to stay basically at room temperature. We have 31 up there right now. They last about 12 years, yeah, constantly yeah. beaming a signal down to you from over 12 thousand miles up. Inside, each one contains an atomic clock and a real-time map of the sky. When you get multiple satellites, it's able to calculate out where you're located on the ground. In very basic terms, the only way this little guy knows where you are is if that big guy knows what time it is. It's constantly streaming a signal from the atomic clock down here. The further away I am or the closer I am to that clock, that's my position. GPS really does save lives and it's improving the quality of life of everybody on the planet. And one more thing, the Colonel says you now get the same accuracy and access he does. So Colonel, what do you do to make sure the Taliban isn't jamming your system? Yeah, it's kind of ironic uh, that, that if you actually are using GPS jammers, we can actually monitor that and determine that you are using a GPS uh, jammer and we can actually drop a GPS bomb on top of you. The one thing I know is my wife will be able to find her way to the shopping center a lot better with systems like this out there. So now you know it goes way beyond in-car navigation. They have GPS units inside running shoes now. If you want to learn more about GPS 2F and the future of GPS, go to my blog on the website. That's ktla.com slash Dave. We're live. Back to you, Micah. Very well done. Love the story. Dave Malkoff, thank you. Coming up sure. here on the News at 10, the FDA.